reporting and record keeping, planning and scheduling, cost control, how you as a manager can involve your workers, and how you workers can get involved. Stay tuned, that's coming right up. Hi, my name is Chris Conkle, and this channel is all about helping you master construction so that you can become an industry leader. Today I'm going to be talking about reporting and record keeping, project planning and scheduling, and a little bit about cost control. I started this video series to kind of correlate with my progress on YouTube. So uh, as I was starting on YouTube and I was learning the basics, I started uh, doing videos on the basics of construction. So the more advanced that I get into YouTube and the more of an audience that I build, the more uh, detail, the more advanced the techniques are going to get and the more in depth I'm going to, I'm going to be able to go. Um, this is a channel that is about, it's, it's for instruction, right? It's for, um, you can, there's always valuable lessons to be, to learn from, from, from what I, uh, what I talk about. Um, it's a vlogging channel, right? And I vlog about my life and my life is construction and film and family, right? Family being the first. I'm a father of three. Um, I'm married. I, you know, we, we both, my wife and I work. Um, the kids are, uh, are young and, uh, just starting school. Even my, my son is a little bit older. He's, you know, uh, be going into grade six next year. But, uh, so like I was saying, this is a, this is a vlogging channel. I vlog about my life and my life, a, a lot has to do with construction, right? Like, um, I've been in construction for a very long time and I lived through a lot of stuff with construction, right? So, um, it just makes sense for me to, to talk about it, right? And um, this channel, right, is um, trying to trying to attract other workers. Some uh, for this, you know, this this place is a as a is a free zone, right? Uh, this is a this is a channel where our workers can voice their opinions and reach out for help, guidance, um, or just even friendships there's something somebody to talk to right um i know what it's like when you're you come home from a hard days of work and all you want to do is you know hit the sack have a shower go to bed but you have responsibility you have children you have the wife who also works full-time and is all who is also tired and um you know your kids are gonna are rambunctious they got tons of energy and they need there's a ton of work right especially when they're younger so like like the kid children we have we have a, a four and a two year old and um and the 11 year old and uh, it's a lot of work right so uh working in construction is tough it's really hard it's uh it's physically exhausting physically draining and um it can be mentally and emotionally draining as well right um it's um stressful it can be stressful at times right um there's a lot of pressure on us to um to pr produce right there's a lot of pressure on us as workers to produce so that the companies make more profit um they're always ever trying to make a profit, right? Like I said in my previous couple of videos talking about goals and objectives, uh, they're trying to reach maximum profit and from every single angle, right? And the number one resource is your workers, right? So um, they're who make you the, the most money, right? So you're naturally going to be pushing them harder and harder. Um, so I just think that there's a few ways that the, you can lighten the load, right? And share responsibility more with your workers. Uh, traditionally, the, the the schedule is something that, like, I didn't see my first schedule uh, until years and years and years into my um, uh, construction experience, right? It was not something that was communicated. Uh, you were assigned a daily task and that was it, right? Um, you'd get your assignments in the morning. Uh, from your foreman and you'd pair up with somebody or a team of guys and just go and do a certain you know a certain section right well in my opinion it would be better off to share that schedule 
with the entire crew, right? So when you have your daily tailgate, your morning tailgate meetings, you can share the progress of the schedule and the milestones, right? So um, the whole schedule, right? Especially if you're a general contractor, right? It would be great to have all your workers understand uh, what is expected of the subcontractors and where the project should be because the personnel who work for the general contractor, the prime contractor, they're the leaders on site, right? It's their, their sandbox, right? So uh, we're playing by their rules and they got to lead by example, right? So if they understand the schedule, then it's going to be better for the entire process, right? Because they have their eyes and ears, um, you know, out in the field. So the plan organizes the project and the schedule communicates that plan. So the schedule is the tool of communication, right? So um, the plan, in, it starts in the design phase, right? It starts right away from the beginning. Um, all of the trades and all that, they guess what, you know, how much time it's going to take to do their scope of work and it's all put into a big schedule and, uh, then the, the time frame is set, right? So, um, the schedule, it helps get the project done uh, by a certain date right um so in order to get that done it's, it's got to be very well planned right so there are a lot of components that go into a construction project so the amount of planning and scheduling is is a is a crazy it's a crazy 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 so you can imagine how effective bim software bim management is going to be um we've been talking a lot about that right with the uh, now with the augmented and virtual reality aspects of the bim uh, this is gonna, it's gonna be awesome, right? So, um, if you're a good worker, you're gonna be, you know, uh, in the trailer at break times or at lunch, and you're gonna be checking out the schedule. You're gonna be looking at the schedule, trying to understand it, right? Because you're gonna have, you're gonna be looking at a Gantt type chart, and, uh, it, you know, you might not be able to understand it at first, but, um, you know, ask your supervisor, ask your superintendent. Yeah, usually for my experience, your superintendent is not gonna have a problem explaining to you how the schedule works. Um, and, you know, and then, the, yeah, when you have, when you have time, after, you know, it's extra time at lunch or on your coffee breaks, in the mornings, get there a little early, check out the drawings and the specifications right try to understand that try to understand the divisions under the specifications and um you know it, it, and start to uh, you know look at the drawings and and start to understand those things right so the more time you spend trying to learn things and understand things right uh, especially in those management things uh you know the the if you can read the blueprints and understand specifications you're very valuable trust me so reporting and reporting and record keeping may seem like a waste of time to you know uh field personnel but it's not trust me there's a you have to keep you know a daily journal you know when you're in management you have to uh fill your reports out this is very important that you do this now as a worker in the field it's also important to start taking notes of what you're doing right um it, it's it's always about who has the more accurate data or uh, who has the most data and the most accurate data right that's who wins the lawsuits <laughs> okay so you want to be a master of reporting and record keeping right also record keeping is important for historical data uh, so that you know how long it takes to do certain things and that'll help you with future estimates. Planning and scheduling is, um, is, is essential because the projects are so huge, right? Uh, I couldn't imagine if, uh, the, you know, there wasn't a schedule, right? Um, so, uh, the schedule is important because it controls, like it, it, it signifies when we need to alert the certain subcontractors. It, it's, signifies when we need to order materials um so it's used by everybody right so you all of your architects and engineers your owners owners consultants the uh, contractors subcontractors everybody uses it right the suppliers even right everyone uses the schedule um it's important to to how to know right you need to be able to control the duration of the project right so um to have have a schedule miles with milestones um you know gives you short-term goals and uh, obviously an over overall long-term goal of completing the project right um but it makes it makes the project manageable right but at least with that at least with a schedule you'll know if you're behind 
on something and you 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 know you can add more personnel to uh, a certain task and uh, speed up the process right um, but then this is where cost control uh, also comes into play right um, cost good cost control it um, so <laughs> as soon as a, as soon as a prime contractor wins a job the first thing they want to do is save money start saving money on materials and on the cost of labor like in subcontracts right so an ethical company will take whoever bid the job um you know and whoever whoever's number they carried at bid time they'll generally give them the work right um an unethical company will take the subcontractors prices from bid and shop them around and try to get cheaper prices so that they can make more profit right this is not a good good business practice right eventually people are gonna catch on and they're gonna stop uh providing prices and quotes to you right so you don't want to be that guy who shops prices okay not a cool thing to do at all and uh, a lot of people put uh, a lot of time and money into these estimates and uh to just give you know to give somebody else somebody else's quote and say beat that price that's the worst thing you could ever do really that is awful uh because then all the time and effort that that other company put in they essentially just did it for the other company right so that's not good never shop prices it's it's a very unethical thing to do and uh don't recommend it that's for sure um just keep on the up and up if you carry a number at bid time hire that company unless that company that you know can't or whatever but always try to give it to them first all right um so yeah cost control is just try to always maximize profit uh, every way you can um you it's important to to realize so that you have your estimated costs then you have your actual costs right and then you have your historical data so it all averages out so um for future estimating right so you got to keep track of everything you got to keep track of how much everything costs you got to keep track of how much time it takes to do your certain tasks in certain conditions right there's so many variables that go into estimating and planning and scheduling a project right so um the better records that you keep you know the better your future jobs are gonna are gonna be right because you're gonna have uh the time the money all that figured out ahead of time um so that's important so why is it important f for a worker to understand cost control planning and scheduling and reporting and record keeping well um <clears throat> it's something that i used to do when i was starting to come up and actually this is what kind of Right before I was hired, or uh, before, right before I was promoted to a foreman, what I was doing as a worker, like I had a, I was a journeyman with a, with a, an assistant. Um, I was keeping track of my my square footages every day. Right, uh, I was paid by the hour, an hourly worker. But uh, I came from, I just graduated from business school, and I spent um, uh, four years in working in film and television in Toronto, where I had to report on everything that I spent, all my like all of my finances. I had to do budget reports, all that kinds of stuff. Right, so <clears throat> I was used to keeping track of costs and uh, quantities. We'll say. So um, when I started to hand in a weekly report to my foreman with the square footages um, the, or the linear footages of what I, what I was doing, um, he was blown away. He's like, he said that he, he had never seen any worker ever uh, do, the, do that. So um, I thought it was just something, you know, I was always keeping track of what I did for my own personal reasons because I was always trying to beat my be my yesterday's goal or my yesterday's amounts, right? I was always trying to be better every day, right? So um, when I when I started handing in those those little reports with my square footage during that to my foreman, uh, they were just blown away. Like I, I was promoted a foreman in a month, like a, a month. It took me a month uh to get promoted to being a foreman um on that job so it was it was like it was awesome right so that goes to show how important record keeping is right um 
when I was a superintendent, um, I kept a journal of everything, every conversation that I had, whether it was in person, on site, or the telephone, email, anything like that. I kept, I kept a journal of all the conversations I had. Um, I kept records of the guy's hours. I, I always kept track of who was on site and for how long. Um, I knew, uh, yeah, I kept track of everything, absolutely everything, right? So, um, I know when it comes to, uh, like a scheduling issue, uh, with a prime contractor and you're a subcontractor, right? You need to have records of why things are delayed, right? You need to have proof of, uh, why you might be looking for additional, you know, uh, compensation for, for something, right? Cause the extras like that, um, arise all the time in the field, right? And, uh, there's always going to be changes to the, the, like the schedule and the planning is, is flexible, right? And the, the estimate, the cost is, is also flexible, right? You can always ask for more money. If there is money, then you'll get it. Um, if, you know, if there's not, or the, or the owner doesn't want the, the change or pay for it or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just sometimes, you know, you really have, you, you really end up biting the bullet and, um, you just end up building something cause you have to. Uh, because it affects your critical path, right? So um, that's a, that's a, another thing we'll get into uh, is understanding the critical path. But that's when we get into the real the dive into the scheduling and planning of things. But um, like for now, we're just, you know, we're just getting used to each other and uh, uh, you're just new on in construction. So at this point, it's just an, it's important to understand that, um, you know, there is a schedule and everything is very carefully planned out. Um, in the home office, there are coordinators uh, who do uh, planning and scheduling, and there's uh, you know procurement specialists. There's all kinds of all kinds of people that work in the field or in the home office, right? That do all of that stuff. Um, a project manager has a lot of tasks, right? Especially the more projects and the bigger the projects they have. Uh, project managers are busy people. The more we as workers can understand scheduling and planning and cost control and record how and understand how important record uh, keeping and reporting is, uh, then, you know, then we're starting to think like quality workers, right? You're going to, like I said, you're, you follow this advice, you recognize these things. Like I was, it was years before I saw my first schedule and uh, uh, it was insane. It was after I took project planning and scheduling um at Nate and I went to the superintendent and asked him to see the schedule right uh it's amazing how much information the uh management keeps from the workers it's insane right um even like the actual cost estimate of that is something like project managers coordinators and estimators uh, they, 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 they know all the costs, like they know the pricing and stuff like that, right? Like, uh, I, there's so many jobs as a superintendent, even that I didn't know the, the overall cost of the job, right? So, um, like I seen, I saw change orders and stuff like that, but, um, uh, like there, there, I'm really glad that the internet of things, the cloud, the cloud is out there now because we can share data uh, a lot easier and op that opens up the lines of communication, right? So um, if we can simply just, you know, text this who gets speech to text over our phone even, right? Just take notes, right? Take take as many notes as you as you can, right? Even when you're a worker, you have to take notes. You need to, you know, the, if 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 there, anything ever comes up, like, you know, you are ever questioned about anything, right? So for one, there's the uh, the production side. So if you keep track of your production, right, then there's no question whether or not you're worth uh, the, the your hourly wage or not, right? If you keep track of your production, then you have grounds to ask for a raise when you can prove to them that you've made made when you yeah, sorry, so that you've when you've proved to them that you've made a money, then you can ask for a raise, right? There's no uh, the more data that you have in your pocket, the more powerful you are, right? So um, it's not uh, if you know it's awesome, right? Like um, uh, I always kept uh, oh yeah, just keep notes throughout the day and then transcribe them at night, whatever you have to do. So 
So and there's also the the safety thing, right? So inspections and uh, like reporting and and uh, reporting and record keeping and when it comes to safety, right? That's another whole other ball game, right? Uh, so you need to keep records of all the first aids. Uh, you need to keep records uh, of all the incidents, and uh, you have to do regular inspections and keep records of when you do them, right? So um, there's a lot of lot of lot of reporting and record keeping in construction so um i'm i'm very excited for uh more software and computer based like you know app type stuff coming to come out so that everything can be integrated right and everyone can use the same type of system uh crm type system whatever to uh manage a project together right so that's uh, the biggest worst problem in construction is the breakdown in communication and um how everyone's using you know different systems and oh my goodness trying to put all these subcontractors together with the prime contractor and uh then those are tr they're trying to um translate or um, interpret the drawings and specifications from the architects and engineers who have their own systems right so uh it's crazy right so all of these projects every project you're integrating all these different companies and personalities and softwares and it's just it's insane right it's absolutely insane so um the better we the more we standardize our our systems you know that's you know the better the easier things are going to be in the future so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the show i hope you learned something um if you're uh, new to chris conkle vlogs make sure you smash the subscribe button right down below hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing uh youtube thinks you might like this video right here so give it a watch let me know what you think by hitting that like button uh this is chris bye for now everyone